Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lung Pamai. In the last episode, we learned how to create custom ribbon for Excel using Visual Designer. In this episode, I'll be showing you in detail how to create a custom ribbon and also manipulate existing commands using XML. If you followed our Ribbon X series for VBA, it's going to be pretty much the same or I would say even more simplified in VSTO. If you just need a ribbon with standard controls like buttons, drop down, edit box, or label, uh, Visual Designer can take care of all this. However, if you want to um, repurpose build in commands or define context menus, uh, take care of the backstage, um, you know, like menu bars and so on, you'll need a ribbon uh, XML. So it's much more powerful and advanced as compared to the Visual Designer. Uh, before we begin, if you haven't, please do not forget to subscribe for latest updates and also to support my channel. So here's what we did uh, in our prior episode. First, going to this add-in for a quick recap. There's nothing we've done in that. Uh, this is just a blank form and then the user control. And so mainly the focus was on the ribbon design. So this is what we designed in our prior video. Let me quickly load it up. So it's much easier to um, refer to all these controls and then add elements and you know like design. It's much more simpler to do in the Visual Designer, but um, there are certain things that cannot be done using um, this um, Visual Designer. So XML part comes in again. Uh, we've done this in VBA and. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it is a very useful um, video series. You should definitely check it out. Okay, so this is a label that is automatically assigned with the username and the application um, username and then the environment ID. And then the, you know, like just the label, again, the version. And then this is shows the task pane, shows the win form. Um, this is example of combo box and a drop down. And then whatever you select, print it out here. And then this is uh, edit box that automatically recalculates the total, for example. And this is example of checkbox. Okay. Uh, so we'll try to do this similar thing in the XML. Now you can straight away export this uh, into uh, Raven and then start doing it here as well. Uh, we'll put it in the different projects so that it's easier to follow. For now, let me just export this XML. You'll see XML automatically generated. So even though this has been generated at the moment, you'll see these are the steps that we need to follow to be able to implement this. If I load this up now, it's, it's going to be still the same. So here, Okay, so it still works. Everything's the same. Okay. Now, if you look here, um, here's our XML that was exported. This is the XML from this designer, driven design, this one. And then um, this is where the code goes. Okay. Now, as per the instruction here, we need to add this in the, you know, like add in or workbook load events or document and then that is how it's going to take effect, effect, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm go just going to take a backup of this XML so that we can reuse this easily. Um, I'm going to first close this solution. We'll start a new project. Again, we'll create a add-in. Let's call this add-in XML or something. Da, da, da. So if you did not follow the prior see, uh, video, let me do this. Add in, uh, da, da, Excel add in. Okay, so we'll use this one, this template. And let's call this Excel add in and then XML ribbon, something like that. And then I'm going to place this in the YouTube directory. And I'm going to leave the framework as it is. Oh, 
Okay, so um, again, this is just a template. It does not contain anything at the moment. Now I'm going to go and add the um, component. Just give me a moment. So in our last video, we added this component. Now we'll add this driven XML. I'll just leave the name as it is. Okay, so this is the same one that was auto-generated earlier when we were doing this. Okay, and then here is the XML. Okay, this is just um, uh, like some code are there which we can utilize. Now what it says here is copy the following this and paste it there. We'll do that and then um, here all these are the place where we are going to put our callback. Um, for example, this is where we'll be putting all our callbacks. I'm just going to leave this part as it is. Okay, so first I'm gonna copy this, go to this add-in. If you're designing, um, if your project is workbook level or document level, you paste it here in that this workbook or this document. So we are here now. So I'm gonna uncomment this. Okay. So uh, in the prior project, if you want to use the XML, then this is where you paste, and then automatically it will instead of picking up the visual designer ribbon that you've done it's going to pick up the xml from the xml file okay so if i load this up now we have not done any customization so we should not see any tab or rather we will install the prior add-in uninstall sorry so this is from the prior one i'm now gonna maybe just take a snippet so that we can easily refer to it. I'm gonna uninstall this for now. So this is a new add-in that we just created. Okay, so now there's no ribbon. Now coming back here, let's go and put in start putting the okay. So this is uh again um uh, we've gone through this. Uh, this is the code that's going to run on load, and then this is the namespace schema. And um, okay, we'll go one by one, and then it should not be difficult. Uh, add in step my group. Okay, there must be a group in my add in step. Let's just quickly load this again. Uh, okay, there is none. Let's leave it. Let's copy this group first. Or dun dun dun. So see the tag ends here and it begins here. Okay. And this one is ending here itself. It starts and ends here. So um this is of no use for us. Maybe we'll just copy it from here till here. So if we load this up now, it will show, but it's going to error. Let's call this XML. This is the label for that new tab. And then these are all the labels. Control F5 to open without debugging. So here's a ribbon. And then all of them seems to be there. It's going to give an error because there's no callback. OK. So to dynamically, let's first assign um, a label on load, and then we can perhaps reuse the same code so that we don't have to rewrite everything. Um, okay, so opening this, maybe we can reuse some of this. Instead of this static label one, two, and three, we'll assign this dynamically. Again, this is case sensitive, so get label. This is uh, for a callback, or you can say for event, get label. Okay, so on get label, we will assign the code that we want to run here. Okay, so let's call this. Um, oops, sorry. Get label. Um, I'll just put a name like this. Okay, and going to ribbon here. This is where all the callbacks. So starts here and then ends here. Okay, so we'll assign 
and all this needs to be public okay uh, if you use remember well we're doing for VBA if we use this uh, custom UI you can automatically generate um, the callback signatures um, like the syntax but here it's uh, we'll have to do this um, okay the name is going to be this and then by well let's see this can be like a control variable control as this okay so in uh, Excel when we do VBA we just need to assign it like this but here we need to assign in full syntax like this and then we can say this is equal to just write hello for now like this or we can just make this to function it will return the string and return hello irrespective of the control it will return hello now let's try it first so if there's any error it will be highlighted here as well even in the XML so it's much better than the one that we used earlier uh, signature mismatch okay just give me one second okay it's my bad this is supposed to be the control Okay, so hello, hello, hello. So based on the control ID, we can assign the label now. Uh, for this, we can use um, select case and dot ID. This control whatever is at that point of time. Okay, so case. So the name here. Oops, sorry. the name here is label one so first one will be case is this case two and three case else it will return nothing and let's get rid of this so in the label one we want to return hello and the username so we can reuse this code that we use in another one um, here return if this control id uh, on runtime it, when it's refreshing is uh, label one then we want to return this okay and then if it is uh, the second label we want to return this and then the version info here it's going to be return this okay so let's give it a shot so now here it returned dynamically okay this is how you can assign the labels uh, using this callback uh, 